Welcome everyone to JWolf Tech Broadcast. Today what I'm actually going to be doing is uh, showing how to install the new Corsair H80i on the Intel 1155 socket. I have actually already previously done one step uh, before this, mainly because it does take a little bit of time. But the first thing you have to do is install this back plate, and it's pretty easy. You basically just line up with the, with the holes, and uh, then you uh, get the screws that you actually need. It's very well, very well laid out if you just look here at the manual. That's exactly what we did. We just installed it to the back and you do that before you mount the motherboard. That's the best way to actually do that. At least get that in there and get the, get the screws screwed in. And then what you basically do is you just uh, put screws on the other side and it has everything well labeled so it's really easy to do. But what I wanted to really showcase here is how actually easy it is to install the water block on here. And let's see if I can do this without. What we have here is the actual the actual heat uh, heat heat uh, block there, and what you're actually going to do is try to get all these wires out of the way. Try not to touch the bottom because that does have your thermal compound on it. This is a nice quality thermal compound, so be very careful there. And this is actually magnetic. There's these little magnets actually on the bracket, and it'll just connect on like that. And then what it's actually going to do is just sit down right on the CPU. And what I try to do is I try to center it right in the middle. It's very, very difficult to do, especially with one hand and a uh, camera right in your face. And I do want to apologize for the audio here. If the audio is a little bit, a little bit too loud, it's because the microphone is directly in my face, right down over the, over the water block here that I'm installing. And you want to tighten these down similar to what you would do with a tire, with a car tire, you want to do it in a cross pattern. What I like to do is at least get those first two on to hold it in place so I know it's not going to go anywhere. And that allows you to give, uh, get your other hands in here and better, better manage things. You do not want to tighten them down all the way to begin with, just enough to where it's actually going to hold it in. And you feel securely, uh, you know, moving your hands so you can, so you can, uh, actually let's get a screwdriver here. So you just have two, two hands to actually maneuver in here and uh, go ahead and tighten these down a little bit. All right. So you'll start, you'll you'll know when they're tight because they will they will start getting pretty snug. But you want to do it in a cross pattern, similar to what you would do. Um, you know, if you're putting a bolts on a tire, if you've ever changed your tire before, you know you want to go in a kind of cross pattern. You don't want to tighten all one side down at once. I'm going to go in a little cross pattern here. And that is it. That is the quickest, easiest installation process I've actually done on a, on a water block before. And I'm really ha uh, glad Corsair went with a different design on actually installing it. And then what we're actually going to do here is you have this little pin connector. It's just a little fan header. And you uh, should be a fan header on your actual motherboard. It says uh, CPU. That one's the system fan. It's gonna be around the socket. I'm not 100% sure. There it is, CPU fan. One, it's in a horrible spot on this board at least, because now I'm gonna have this wire that somehow I'm gonna to have to manage here. And this is actually gonna be for your data. You do have to connect this to a data connection because this is uh, Corsair's uh, i-series where you're gonna use some, some Corsair Link software to better help control the actual process and what we're actually going to do now is mount the radiator there's many different ways you can mount this thing but actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount it here on the front because that seems that it's going to be about the easiest to do and what i'm actually going to be doing is using well maybe i'm actually going to be using the corsair uh standard standard mounting brackets but you can mount this either way i'm not going to go through the mounting process i just want to go through on actually the mounting of the block but you could mount it as an intake as you can see here, or you could turn it around and mount it as an exhaust on the rear, which I am not going to do the exhaust on the rear mainly because there's not a lot of room in this case. So it's mainly up to you on how you actually want to do things. This has been a, just a quick overview on act, how to actually install the Corsair H80i on the Intel 1155 socket. It is a little different on the AMD and the Intel 2011 socket. If you'd like to see more just quick tech, tech uh, quickie kind of how to, how to do things, uh, definitely let me know with a thumbs up and some comments and 
Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.